let's have a look at task 2a from the 2024 NAT5 admin and IT paper. Now this is the first of the three spreadsheets where we're asked to update a price list, told to open the spreadsheet costings, which I have done, and complete the worksheet price list that I am in, following all instructions and using the information below. We're having to print a copy in value view, portrait with grid lines only, and a second printout will be in formula view, portrait, grid lines, and row and column headings. So I can see from the spreadsheet here, we've got three, uh, numbered one, two, and the third one is down here of three things we have to do. Unmerge these cells and embolden the heading, doing a calculation to work out a price increase and make sure everything is formatted. And the additional note is asking us to add the following information. So I think before we tackle the comment boxes one, two, and three, we put in this extra information. There's two other side orders that have to go in. And if we go down to the sides, well, first of all, we can see that we need more rows for that. So if I just go into you know row 23, right click and insert will give me another uh, row. And to keep it consistent, I'll have to do another one. And the first part, of the task, I'm just going to simply type in the the side order. So sweet, potato, fries, and as I've said through numerous videos, uh, make sure you spell it properly uh, the way you see it. And the old price there is £3.50. As I click away, I can see it's formatted to pounds and decimal places, so that is fine. And we're going to type in here baked potato, and that is £2.70. So we've dealt with the additional information. We can now go up and deal with the actual comment boxes. So I'll just open up the spreadsheet fully and let's tackle that. So the first thing to unmerge the cells, you'll see if I highlight from A, well, A, B, C, it's uh, all showing as A1. The quickest way, depending I suppose what your ribbon shows you, for me under alignment, I've got my uh, merging section here and I could just unmerge it. And it's been told that we have to embolden, that just means make bold the heading, so I'll just hit the, the B there and that will do. Now, you might want to just delete the, the comments straight away. I wonder if it's easier to keep them all in and then check everything at the very end before you print out and at the very last minute you then delete the, the, the comment. So I'll leave the comment box in there for the moment. Number two, it's saying the prices have increased by 10%. Insert a formula to calculate the new price uh, for each item. Now, there's different ways to work out a percent increase. So in cell uh, C6, you always have to start with an equals because we're about to do a, a formula calculation. We could say that we want to take the um, the old price, three pounds, and then we want to add on to that 10% increase. So I could do equals B6, and I could do the plus, and I could say, okay, I'll take the old price, and I'm going to multiply that by 10%. All right, because if, I'll take that out actually, if I just did um, equals the old price, times 10% like that, or 0 0.1. If I just did that formula, that would give me the actual price increase that we then have to add back on to the old price. So that's one way you could do it. I could go back up to the formula bar and I could actually put a little bracket around that just so it can make that calculation first. That will give us the, the three pounds and then we can add back in the old price and that will give us the new price. That's one way to do it. The other way we could do it is equals the old price times 110%. So that will give us the 100% of the old price plus 10% of the old price. So 110% and that will give you the same answer. Or you might prefer to do equals the old price multiplied by and do it in decimals 1%. Point one. So all of these ways are accepted so long as you put the formula in and you're able to, um, to calculate the new price using a formula. Now we have to copy down. Again, I think the quickest way is even though we've got spaces here, right, just copy down the whole lot just now and then we can go back up and do the formatting. All right, so where I have spaces, I don't need these zeros, that doesn't mean anything, just delete that out. 
All right, and then that is just you updating the price list. At this point, before we're printing off, I would then go back and delete these comment boxes. So remember, go into the cell with the wee triangle, right click, and let's just uh, delete. The, well, actually, it's called a note, not a comment box. It used to be called a comment box, but uh, these now in Excel are called notes. So we'll click in the cell, delete note. We've done that. Everything looks like it's been formatted fine. So there's the last one there. And I'll just stretch there to see where the, the arrow goes and then delete the note. So to print it off, I would just highlight the, the range of cells that we need to print off. And to show grid lines only, you could be in page layout and just tick for printing the grid lines, but leave the headings off. That's one way to do it. Or go into file and I'd go into print. In fact, I would actually change it to print selection just because I highlighted it um, like that. And to get the grid lines only, another way to do it is go into page setup and into sheet and then select just the grid lines for printing. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just whichever way you find easier. And then we could uh, print that off. To then show it as formulas, remember it's the control key and the shoulder key, which is the, the key below the escape um, button on the left hand side of your keyboard. And you'll see there that we have the, the formula showing. We have to do a little bit of tweaking here. Let's just narrow down column A just to make sure because again we want everything to fit onto uh, portrait but this time we need it with the, um, the, the the row and column headings as well so you know again in page layout if you click on the tick the, the print and go to file and then go for a print there and again we're printing the selection and I can see that at the bottom it's again it's page one of one and I can clearly see everything um, in that printout that you need and of course you would be better also is to insert a footer to put your your, your name your task and if you're doing the exam um, the school uh, name as well so that's how we do task 2a the first of the, the three spreadsheets